Who's Scout. This? this is Scout. Hey, Scout. So, in the city, I used to have to walk to take her to the dog park. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, now you have your own dog park. Exactly. <laughs> but I actually wrote you about this door. Um, we've only been in the house a couple of months, um, but, you know, we're a little bit worried about the winter time and making sure that it stays warm. In the yeah. kitchen, we spend a lot of time in there. So you're worried about drafts and maybe some cross ventilation or something? Yep. This looks like a relatively new door, nice and tight, but it's always a good idea to put a storm door on to tighten up the door. And uh, so I think we can solve your problem with that and maybe even get some access for Scout to enter a dark park. <laughs> That'd be great. All right, Kate, let me show you what I brought for your new storm door. Now the storm door actually has a screen on the top and glass panels on the bottom. You can take the panel and just swing it up so it's a self soaring door and you have nice efficiency in the winter. Excellent. Now you can reverse that screen and put it on the bottom. The problem with that is if Scout should jump, she may damage that screen. Exactly. A little treat for her so she can get in and out easily is her own door. Look at that. You don't Excellent. have to keep getting up to let her in or out. Couldn't ask for more than that. Now ordering this door is pretty simple. What I did is I ordered the size of your door. You have a 3068, which means it's three feet no inches by six foot, eight inches high. And that's what we have for Storm Door. To install it, it's pretty straightforward. They supply the weather stripping jams that will go on the side against your existing jams. The hinges are already mounted. Across the top and down the other side, we have another jam. There's also a weather strip, and we'll just screw those in place and hang your door. Let's get started. All right, Kate, now the first thing I want to check is that your existing door is square. It can be a little out of plumb, hopefully it's not, but I wanna make sure that it's square. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the three, four, five method. I measured across the top three feet and down the side and I placed the mark at four feet. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to hold my tape measure right on the side of the casing where the line meets the edge. All right, so now I'm gonna measure up diagonally. We have five feet. So we have a square door, three, four, five. Great. So now we can get started by installing our hinge side to the door. Okay. Now you can swing these doors out to the left or to the right, just a matter of how you mount this piece right here. I think what we'll do is we'll match what you have and put the hinge on the left side looking in. Perfect. All right, so now when I fold this over, and I slide the hinge up, you can see that the manufacturer gives us a hole for our first screw to go in. All right, why don't you grab that drill and some glasses there. All right. Okay, now put it right in the hole. Perfect, just like a professional. <laughs> All right, so now when I close the hinge back on top of the door, you can see that the manufacturer wants us to have a space from the top of this side jam to the top of the door, which will create an even space along the whole door so it won't scrape when you open and close it. All right. Now the rest of these holes, we're gonna have to drill, and I'll drill them and you can follow behind me with the screw. There you go. All right, see, so one of the hardest parts is trying to line up the screwdriver with the screw. If it's off in any direction, you're oh. going to get the bounce. Yeah. All right, so I'll give you a hand, but you want to push down hard with your left hand and nice trigger. Just pump the trigger as you go. Look at that. There we go. Nice. Now we'll drill some more holes. <laughs> screw. Perfect. All right, now we're going to screw the door into the opening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to position it, push it tight to the left, and bring it up tight, and then drop it back down just a little bit. Okay, so I want you to drive one screw just above my hand. Okay. Bring it in firm, but don't bring it in all the way. Nice. Got it lined up pretty good. Good. All right, perfect for now. Okay. 
Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to put one screw right in this hole here. Okay, right in. There you go. All right. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Perfect. All right. That's good. We have a space down there, space at the top. Okay, so now we can put more screws inside the jam into the casing. So put a screw right in there. Nice job. Yeah. Now let's check the door one more time. Looks good. Looks good. Okay, now we want to put some screws in the outside, but the first thing I want to do here is I want to close this gap under the jam where it meets the threshold. And there's an expander that I slid in here when you just drop it right down nice and tight. Now we can screw the outside of the jam to the casing. All right, so I want you to run a thin bead of caulking right down the center there. And what this is, is this is the top piece that goes across the casing. So it actually has a weather stripping that the door will butt against. But on the outside edge of it, there's a little bit of a drip cap there so that the water won't run down onto the door. So I take the drip cap and bring it right in here like this. Slide it across the door into the corner tight. Just like that. I want to push the drip cap up just a little bit to create an even gap all the way across the top of the door. So I'll put my first screw in, in the center. I want to run a thin bead of caulking right across the top of the drip cap. Now we can install the striker side of the jam. All right, now let's look at the hardware that we're ready to install. This is a lever on the outside, lever on the inside. Normally what you would see on a traditional door is you would see a latch sticking out like that that would attach to a striker in the jam. With this one, we're actually going to just drill a large hole for this shaft right here and two smaller ones for the screw, and when the door closes, there's the, the latch right there that will go against the striker that goes against the jam. Okay. The next very important thing is to establish where you're going to locate this on the door in relationship to the hardware that's on your door. Oh. So in other words, if I don't position this right and I put this on the door like this and I close it, and if it hits that hardware, the door's not going to close. Okay. I'll drill out the holes for the hardware using a template that came with the storm door. This compressor at the top of the door will automatically close the door when you enter and leave. Drop it down just a hair. Now we just install the adjustable sweep on the bottom of the door to keep the drafts out. Okay, try it. All right, Kate, your door's in. Let's take a quick look. See what you have. You have your storm windows in right now. Remember, you can just drop this down. It stays in place. You'll have your screen. You can reverse that screen if you want to. And a little exit here for Scout to go in and out. Let's see if okay. she goes. She'll go after that. Oh. <laughs> it's going to take a little bit of training. It'll take a little work.